Good evening, everybody. It's Zechariah from Running for Heroes. Sadly, tonight we're running two more miles in honor of two fallen first responders who have both lost their life in the line of duty. And our first mile tonight will be for a fallen investigator. Tonight, I'm running for fallen investigator Donald Richard Crooms. He worked with the Houston County District Attorney's Office in Georgia, and his end of watch was March 30th of 2022, and lost his life after an oncoming car crossed the median and hit his patrol car head on. He was 56 years old at the time of his passing, serving an amazing 36 years in law enforcement. He served a total of previous 25 years with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, and also served with the Georgia Public Training Center and the Middle Georgia University Police Department. He leaves behind a wife, two daughters, three sons, a mother, a brother, and two nephews. Tonight, I'll be running with the blue line flag in his honor. I'll be doing seven laps around the track by my school, which is the equivalent of a mile in his honor. And I'm joined tonight by many first responders and my whole family who are joining us in this run. Before the run starts, I'm going to do a quick prayer in honor of his whole family and the apartment through the hard time we are going through. And then I'll be on my way. that are tuned in tonight. Tonight, Zachariah running his first of two miles this evening to honor two more heroes recently lost in the line of duty. His first mile tonight in honor of fallen investigator Donald Richard Crooms. He worked with the Houston County District's Attorney's Office in Georgia, tragically losing his life on March the 30th, 2022, after an oncoming vehicle crossed the center line, sadly struck his patrol car head on. He was 56 years old at the time of his passing, having served an incredible 36 years in law enforcement. 25 of those years, he served with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office. He also previously worked at the Georgia Public Training Center, as well as the Middle Georgia University Police Department, and leaves behind a wife, two daughters, three sons, a mother, brother, and two nephews. Zachariah completing his first of seven laps to honor this hero tonight. We are always so appreciative of the various local agencies that continually come out to help honor our fallen heroes alongside Zechariah. Tonight, joining Zechariah in honor of investigator Donald Crooms, we have members of the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation, the Seminole County Sheriff's Office Citizens on Patrol, as well as the Orange County Sheriff's Office. Playing pipes tonight, we have a member of the Central Florida First Responder Pipes and Drums Band. Also running with Zechariah, we have a member of the U.S. Customs and Border Protection based out of the Orlando International Airport, as well as other local members of our community. Again, we're here tonight to pay tribute to a 36-year veteran of law enforcement. Fallen investigator Donald Richard Crooms, who uh, tragically lost his life March 30, 2022, after his patrol car was struck head-on by a driver that crossed over the median. Sadly, he leaves behind a wife, two daughters, three sons, a mother, a brother, and two nephews. Zachary right now completing his second of seven laps to honor investigator Crooms tonight. Every mile completed by Zechariah, he carries a unique flag. Each flag is sent to the family of the hero that he runs to honor. This flag tonight, the Blue Line flag, will work its way to the family of investigator Richard Croons, Donald Richard Croons, along with the note that Zechariah wrote earlier in the day. If you'd like information on how you can be part of this mission, visit running the number four heroes.org. As Zechariah completes lap number three and starts lap number four, I'm gonna go silent and I'm gonna remain silent for the remainder of the run as we reflect on the life of this hero fallen investigator Donald Richard Crooms. We extend our thoughts and our prayers to everybody with the Houston County District Attorney's Office. We also extend our heartfelt prayers to his family, his wife, his two daughters, his three sons, his mother, his brother, and his nephews. We hope this run honors him well, and we thank him for his 36 years of service.
So for any final words tonight for the family of fallen investigator Donald Richard Crooms. To so the whole family of fallen investigator Donald Richard Crooms. Everybody at the Houston County District Attorney's Office in Georgia. Along with all the other agencies he worked for, for during his 36 years of law enforcement service. That includes the Bibb County Sheriff's Office along with the Georgia Public Training Center and the Middle Georgia University Police Department. Investigator Crims was 56 years old at the time of his passing. He left behind a huge family. He left behind a wife's wife, two daughters, three sons, a mother, brother, two nephews, and I'm sure lots of other surrounding family and friends. And not only did he leave behind significant family members, but he served an amazing amount of time with his, uh, with his area in Georgia. He served a total of 36 years in law enforcement across four different departments, and he finished off his serving with the Houston County District Attorney's Office in Georgia. Now, I'm not sure um, what happened during this accident. I just know that a vehicle crossed into the center line, causing his patrol car to be struck head on. Um, and no matter what happened, I'm sure it was something that, um, I mean, obviously it happened. So I just pray, say a prayer tonight for all of our people driving tonight because it can affect a first responder because um, we run for first responders who lose their life from vehicle incidents every single week. So mattering, no matter if this was intentional or unintentional, no matter what, it was still an accident. Um, I'm sure it, it hurt lots of families. So make sure you keep your eyes on the road and it'll, you can possibly save a life as well. If you are part of the family, I'll be sending you this blue line flag around its sight in your hero's honor very soon, along with a handwritten note that I've already written and that is ready to be sent down in your hero's name. There's no, there's no preference on what we want you to do with the flag with the note. But whatever you decide to do with it, we hope it forever, forever brings you comfort, knowing how much of a hero he was. Of all of you tonight, we now like to join us in two things. First of all, a 36-second moment of silence. Each second dedicating one year he served in law enforcement. Um, each second also dedicating maybe a life he saved. Following that, we'll also be a prayer. So of all of you now, please bow your heads and join us in this 36 seconds. Please do right now. Dear God, tonight we came out here to pray. Fallen investigator who lost his life in the line of duty. Fallen investigator Donald Richard Crooms served a total of 36 years in law enforcement and was only 56 years old. He served, he started very young and ever since he started, he loved serving his community throughout his whole entire career. He also found a huge family who I'm sure are going through lots of sorrow. God guide, guide, God guide anybody who are going through a hard time to this run tonight so they can find comfort knowing how much of a hero he was and how much they can find comfort through Running for Heroes, along with many other organizations that will always stay by their side through this hard time of uh, sorrow and need. Um, God, continue to keep our first responders safe. Let's hope that the whole area of the Houston, Georgia, Houston County, Georgia area, and everywhere around middle Georgia and wherever he worked can stay safe as well. Thank you again, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you all for joining us this one mile run. Our final one is going to be for a a fallen firefighter. So if all of you please join us in that run, it was for, it's for a fallen fire chief. We hope you all have a great and safe night, especially if you're a first bar working tonight, and I pray God blesses you all.